Okay, so I've put in a couple of tracks and I just showed you how to put in an EQ uh, with a high pass filter which allows through filters higher than the set frequency. Um, now what I want to show you this time is how to automate the frequency within this plugin so you could have some kind of cool effect where it starts off with just allowing through the really high mosquito sort of range and gradually comes down. You'll hear that sort of effect when a beat's about to drop or in certain dance tracks. So um, also DJs like to fiddle around with their knobs and create a, a similar effect when they're playing live. So the way to get um, automations, I believe, is we click here. So I've clicked uh, that button over there that's talking about track envelopes and automation. And if I look down here, this all relates to things like volume, etc. Uh, the basic stuff within the track, but if you look down here, this is all relating to this plugin, the frequency, uh, the real EQ plugin. Now, this here is exactly what I want. It's the frequency high pass. I want to select it, and it's visible. It's armed for recording. If I want to do it, um, if I want to automate it, um, I haven't yet figured out how to do that. Oh, that's if you're doing it with a like a MIDI controller or something. Um, this is a user interface, what's that going to do? I don't know. Alright, so that is active. I might just leave that there. And I'm actually going to do this uh, sort of in a way of... I'm going to set a node point here. So I'm going to right click on this here. And that lets me say create new point. Then I'll turn off snap so I can put my points wherever I like. I'm creating another point. I like to just put a couple of points either side and then I'll show you why. Because now I'll move this point. Let's try starting it way up here. And it's only going to let through the really top frequencies. See how that came through from really high, something allowing through a little bit. You know, you could decide, oh, I want it to sort of, at this point, reset back to the, um, just the small amount again, you know, like put that one up here again. So that... And then at this point you might say, oh look, hey, let's let the bass player get some action here and bring it all the way down and see if it clashes or not. It doesn't sound too bad. So yeah, that's basically how you automate um, by showing the track automation envelopes. Um, if you don't want that to work anymore, um, you could delete those points. All right, so yeah, hopefully that just gives you a bit of a taster in how to automate the frequency within a high pass filter to give you that cool effect.